Modern science is so fast that it makes your head spin. Nowadays we can learn things that would have been science fiction even 50 years ago. Tell me, would you think that science has advanced so much that now we know how our favorite purring friends appeared? These scientists are probably all cat lovers, otherwise how did they get to the bottom of such ancient secrets? It turns out that the history of cats began as much as 56 million years ago, and if you dig really deep, then 10 million years earlier. Imagine these ancient cats. Well, have you made yourself comfortable? Let me tell you now how these graceful and mysterious creatures evolved. Let's start, as they say, in order. We all know that modern animals have their ancient ancestors, who looked a little different. And this ancestor also had an older ancestor. This way you can get to the bottom of your very, very ancient ancestor. Now, if we talk about our furry friends, cats, let's start with the Myasidae family. These first furry guys appeared about 66 million years ago. Well, they wouldn't have been able to impress anyone. They were so small, weighing up to two pounds. They lived in the trees, hunted lizards, insects, birds, and all kinds of small animals. If you take a leopard, a marten, a wolf, a civet, and someone else and mix them all, you will get a meocid. It is difficult to determine exactly, but this is not surprising, because before you is the supposed ancestor of all predators. So I ask you to love and favor me, dear ones. Over time, a new species emerged from this family Myocide carnivora, and it was these guys who became the ancestors of all our cats, scientifically called Feliformia. Well, and the caniforms, Caniformia, too, for that matter. Yes, yes, don't be surprised. A cat and a dog have a great 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 in common, one might say an old uncle. But you know what? Today we are only talking about cats. Listen further to learn how these ancient carnivorous became our graceful, purring friends. Each animal has its own, as they say, evolutionary tree. And if we talk about cats, their evolutionary tree is a whole labyrinth. Complex, intricate, like a bride's bracelet. There is a special chapter in our feline evolutionary history dedicated to the family Nimravity or Nimravity. These are such ancient predators that cats are just babies compared to them. Imagine, Nimravity are, one might say, the first cat superheroes. These guys lived about 40 million years ago and looked like they could be in a movie now. They had powerful fangs, like saber-toothed tigers, and a menacing appearance, like the most vicious house cat who did not get his portion of sour cream. These predators were true masters of the hunt, catching prey with such grace and speed that it was simply a sight to behold. They were various sizes, from small to such that even a bear would be afraid. We must not forget to tell you about Proalerus. This is not just a cat, but actually the grandfather of all modern cats. Imagine, he lived about 25 million years ago and was a real pioneer in the cat world. Proalerus was the size of a modern domestic cat, but it looked very different. He had a long flexible back and short legs, as if nature had decided to make him a funny acrobat. This cunning animal was a master at climbing trees, loved heights, and was a true master of hunting small animals. I immediately imagine him sitting on a branch, looking down from above and thinking, who should I catch for dinner today? And his ability to hide in disguise is simply art. Proilerus is the one who laid the foundation for all the cats we know and love today. From him came the big lions, the graceful panthers, and our pet purrs. So let's applaud this ancient cat, because without him, our beloved cats would not be what they are now. Nimravity are also known as false saber-tooths. They outwardly resembled the well-known saber-toothed cats from the Smilodon clade, but were not close relatives. They developed common features independently of each other, and these features are an example of evolutionary convergence. Here's an example. Dinictus, 
a cat-like animal. It belonged to the false saber-toothed mammals of the Mravinsky family. Imagine the Eocene and early Miocene era. At this time, a small but dangerous predator, the size of a lynx, roamed the earth. Its body reached three feet in length, and the height at the withers was about 23 inches. Short but muscular legs that gave him an unusual appearance. The predator did not have fully retractable claws, unlike graceful saber-toothed cats. He walked on full foot, like a bear, and his long tail helped him maintain balance. This beast was armed with powerful jaws. Now let's talk about predators that became extinct before reaching our time, just 10,000 years ago. Saber-toothed cats. These beauties once inhabited Africa and lived quietly in the early and middle Miocene. In the subfamily Sudilurus quadridentatus, one interesting tendency was noticeable among their first representatives, their upper canines became larger and larger. Scientists say this trait was key in the evolution of saber-toothed cats. Imagine how they walked through ancient lands, and their fangs sparkled in the sun. But, unfortunately, about 10,000 years ago, the last saber-toothed cats, such as Homotherium and Smilodon, disappeared into history. Their extinction occurred in the late Pleistocene, and since then the world has become a little less dangerous, but also a little less interesting. On the territory of modern Africa and Turkey in the Middle Miocene lived the most famous early genus Myomacaritis or Macarota. These interesting animals were real kings of their times. Saber-toothed cats dispersed into different areas in the late Miocene, where they could be found side by side with other large predators with long fangs, such as Barborophellus. Here's an interesting fact about our ancient friends saber-toothed cats. Imagine, even experts still do not have a consensus regarding their color. The debate rages on, but the mystery remains. Most scientists, however, assume that the coat color of these formidable predators was most likely heterogeneous. On its surface there could be such clearly visible spots and stripes that even now on the podium. Just imagine a saber-toothed tiger in a fashionable fur coat with spots and stripes. These spots and stripes, scientists say, help them camouflage in the wild, be invisible to their victims and competitors. That's what they were, cunning masters of camouflage. Now let's talk about Nandinia. This baby, although not as ancient as some of its relatives, still deserves special attention. Just listen. Nandinia is a creature that looks like a cross between a cat and a civet. Yes, yes, don't be surprised. She lived many millions of years ago and she lives in Africa today and is nocturnal, so she can be called a real cat-like night fury. This cunning girl can climb trees like an acrobat and hunt small animals with such dexterity that any cat would be jealous. Her diet includes everything you can eat, from fruits to small mammals and birds. A real gourmet, I tell you. Also, her eyes are so big that they seem even bigger in the dark, as if she is always surprised by something. Maybe she's just always on the alert, who knows? On the agenda is the civet family, these cunning, dexterous and slightly mysterious creatures. In case anyone doesn't know, Civets are the kind of animals that always keep a few surprises in stock. Today on our agenda is Binturong, or, as it is also called, Bear Cat. This is not just a cat, this is a real exotic animal that immediately evokes delight and a smile. Binturong is such a creature that even in the jungle it is recognized immediately. Imagine, fluffy like a bear, and a tail like a monkey. This tail of his is not just an ornament, but a real tool. Binturong can grab onto branches and even hang upside down like a real acrobat. This cunning animal lives in the dense forests of Southeast Asia and loves to spend time in the trees. And his favorite treat is fruit, especially bananas and figs. He also has a sweet tooth, imagine that. 
But the most interesting thing is that Binturong Pano Popcorn. Yes, this is not a joke. His body gives off such a scent that it feels like you are in a movie theater. Imagine walking through the forest, and then the smell of fresh popcorn. This is a Binturong walking somewhere nearby. And this is the Milan Palm Martin, a real jewel of nature. Our Martin lived millions of years ago and its descendants still live today. This little girl is so dexterous and cunning that she would like to perform in the circus. The Malayan Palm Martin lives in the tropical forests of Southeast Asia and Indonesia. She is so graceful that she can climb trees better than the most experienced climber. She has a long, slender body and a bushy tail, which she uses to balance like an acrobat on a tightrope. Do you know what she loves most? Fruits and nectar. This Martin has a real sweet tooth and loves to feast on ripe fruits and flower nectar. Imagine her sitting on a branch and enjoying her treat, like an aristocrat at his fine dinner. But don't think that she is so sweet and defenseless. Oh no! She is also a predator, deftly catching small animals and birds. That's how she is, the Malayan palm martin graceful, but with character. Here's an interesting story about hyenas or hyenity. Despite the fact that these cunning and nimble creatures resemble dogs in appearance, genetic studies have shown that they are closer to cats than to dogs. Imagine. Such are the cat's relatives in dog's clothing. This dog-like appearance is a true example of evolutionary convergence. What is this, you ask? This is when different animals living in similar conditions begin to look and act similar, despite their different origins. This is how hyenas became like dogs, although in fact they are related to cats. Imagine, such a hyena is walking along the savanna, and everyone thinks that it is a dog. And she, at heart, is a real cat. These are the jokes nature plays on us. But in any case, hyenas are unique and interesting creatures that add diversity to our world. After the extinction of saber-toothed cats, a new species of cat appeared that exists to this day. Ten million years ago the first big cats appeared. The real kings of the jungle and savannas. Scientifically they are called Pantherini. This company included such celebrities as tigers, lions, jaguars, leopards, and snow leopards. These are not just cats, but real superstars of the animal world. One of the ancient representatives of this group, Panthera blithii, lived approximately 5 million years ago. It was equal in size to an ordinary leopard. Just imagine, you are walking through an ancient forest, and such a Panthera blithii walks towards you, proudly walking with its tail like a pipe. These cats were real masters of the hunt, cunning and dexterous, like our domestic purrs, only much larger and more dangerous. Just think what kind of teeth they had points and claws are a real nightmare for any prey. The evolution of cats is an example of how diverse and interesting the fauna of our planet is, which needs to be protected from complete extinction. By the way, extinction is already in full swing. Thank you for watching our episode to the end. Give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And also click on the bell so you don't miss new and interesting videos from the Real Unreal channel.